I've been waiting for for a long time. Today we are going to be making our pantry right here. I'm so excited. I've been really dreaming of this space and trying to just put our kitchen together and I think the space will really help once we get it all situated. We could definitely use some extra storage and I really wanted like the open pantry concept on the walls. I think it is gorgeous. So I'm hoping to have kind of like a rustic farmhouse style. So we're going to have some shelving units up here and we are going to have a island unit right here to give us some more storage and to give us some counter space. And I want to tie it in here with our upright freezer kind of this will be all of our extra food supply and kitchen stuff. I'm so excited to see everything put together and just how it's going to be because we have some really great pieces that I've picked out. To be honest, I'm not exactly 100% sure what I'm doing, but I have faith that it's all going to come together and it's going to look amazing. So let's get building. Y'all know I've been waiting for this. Now time for the part that's probably going to take the longest for the pantry. It's probably going to be the quickest part of this video since it's going to be fast forward, but we got to put it together. Gotta hide the styrofoam away from the girls, or if they find it, it'll be all over our floor in very tiny little pieces, so gotta go hide these. Don't need these. Just kidding, I should probably pick them up or Chelsea's gonna be mad if I do it without the directions. here that we have purchased and collected along the way and I'm going to now decide kind of what we're going to put in them, where we are going to place them. I have six total shelves. So I have three up top, three down here. And I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to put some of our small appliances down with the kitchen island, like our crock pot or our air fryer. I'm not exactly sure how we are going to configure it yet, but this is the fun part. I'm so excited. This is right up my alley. I love things like this and trying to figure it out. Before we get started, I should probably say where some stuff comes from. So a lot of the pieces I actually thrifted or my mom thrifted from a secondhand store. Some of the mainstay containers that are glass, we actually got from Walmart. Uh, they're very affordable. We also got a few plastic ones. I really don't like storing things in plastic, but I do like that there was different shapes for different items. So I did compromise and do a few of them. I also have some baskets here, a little tray, and then I have some wire shelving. I have a lot of different options to play around with to see what I like best. I think that it looks best if there's a whole bunch of different textures contrasting each other. But at the same time, I want to make sure that it's cohesive and clean looking because it is open and in our home. So the last thing I want to do is to clutter our space because we already do that well enough with our kids stuff. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. She wants to help add some chocolate chips to our pantry. 
So we're gonna put the chocolate chips, I believe, in these containers. And Mama, can I do both of them? Cause I'm good at doing both. What one? I thought these were glass because I have some like it already, but they are actually not. These ones are plastic, which is a bummer, but but it's okay. We're still gonna use them. Well, looks like we have a little bit of a sugar mess. So all my containers are filled and ready to be put on the shelf. I have played around for the last few days to see what I like best. I knew I wasn't going to be able to do everything in one day, so I took the time and played around with what I liked best, and that way I could share with you guys what I found. So let's go ahead and put these on our shelves. spot out. And to finalize the space right here, I think I need just a nice wooden cutting board. This makes my work spot complete. They do say for this type that it's not good to get it wet, so you don't want to do a whole lot of wet chopping, um, but it'll be nice just to have a workspace like for the baking or uh, just simply preparing things that aren't necessarily really wet. I think it looks so good. For these two shelves, I'm going to put our crock pot here and 
our air fryer here. They take up so much space in our cabinets. I don't like them on our countertop either, so this is the perfect spot. They're nice on the bottom. Along with our potatoes and onions, we always are getting them, but honestly, sometimes we forget to use them. So I think having them out where we can see them will really help us use them more often. I got these wire baskets from Target. They're the perfect size to store extra things in them, so I'm gonna have them displayed on the second shelf here, and this one just has a whole bunch of extra noodles. Then because we do use a lot of broths, I'm gonna have that sit out as well. Another staple in our home is pasta sauce, so I would like these to be out as well. The pantry is done and I'm absolutely in love. I think it looks so good. It turned out so much better than what I thought it was gonna turn out. I had all these different ideas in my head and I just wasn't sure how to make it come to life. But having some patience and looking at a lot of different sites and different products, I think I mastered what I was envisioning in my head, which is such an amazing feeling. I literally could not stop smiling after I saw it done and just everything here because it has made the house so cozy. And I love that it brings this hominess feel to our kitchen and just our overall home. It is one of the first things you do see when you walk in our front door, so I love that it is well put together. It's organized, everything has a home. I know exactly where it goes. I'm sure the girls will learn exactly where things go as well. I don't know if you could tell, but they already got into our marshmallows here, so it's like almost all gone. The only bad thing about it being open concept is they can see everything. But besides the marshmallows and the chocolate chips, there's really nothing too much that they should get into. But yeah, so this is our pantry makeover. This is our open pantry concept. I hope this inspired you for your own pantry makeover if you are planning on doing something similar. I would know I was in desperate need of looking at different things in order to figure out what I wanted. I just felt like nothing matched what I was looking for. So we created this and I absolutely love it. So far we are doing pretty good on knocking out our projects, so hopefully our next few videos we will get something else done. We'll see you in the next one.